We are challenging ourselves every year to reduce our customers' operating cost 10%. Not our cost, our customers' operating cost 10%. And with the way we look at maintenance now, we've actually accomplished about 6% of year. Not on the Sikorsky bottom line, on the customer bottom line. This is how we're driving the, the competitive behavior that we need to have. And this is an objective, and I have 10 for the company, this is one of those 10 objectives to reduce our customers' operating costs. And it's going really well. And it speaks to the value of the predictive technology that Sikorsky is putting in its products. So S92s, every night, airplane's done, pilot, she takes her little stick and she puts it in a computer, downloads everything that happened on that flight, on that S92, to a central maintenance center we have in our system. That maintenance center staff, 24 hours a day, looks at all the data coming in, calls up customers and says, you know, your hanger bearing is vibrating a standard deviation higher than everybody else's. They go out and check the hanger bearing and find out they didn't torque it correctly. Okay, that's the kind of technology that are going into our commercial products. Starting with the S92, we're actually putting them into Black Hawks as we speak, and the Navy's looking at them for Naval Hawks, and the 53 Kilo will have the technology at well. So this will be a discriminator as we move forward. Abadine is the brand of choice for pilots who want innovative, easy-to-use avionics. And the new IFD 540 GPS Navcom sets a new standard for simplicity in communication and LPV navigation. As a slide-in replacement for existing 530 series navigators, and with a highly intuitive touchscreen control, the IFD 540 makes it much easier to access the information you want when you want it, reducing head downtime and making flying more enjoyable. Finally, you have a choice, and the choice is easy. Abadine. Our S76, the next generation's coming. We have over 680 of these aircraft flying, amassing over 6 million flight hours. Let nobody confuse you. You cannot substitute regulatory certification for safety record of an aircraft. And this airplane is, by any standard, the safest aircraft in the twin-engine standard flying today. Now, the C++ has been sunsetted. We are uh, what we call uh, dark on production right now for the first half of this year. But in the second half of this year, we'll deliver the newest incarnation, the S-76D. Flown the airplane personally, it's a tremendously powerful, fast, and more quiet than I had envisioned helicopter. It meets right now the proposed ICAO standards, the proposed standards for noise. It meets them right now. It's got a beautiful Talus top deck cockpit, which is modeled off the A380 cockpit. The new Pratt engines is what provides us some tremendous CAD-A capability, and especially in high hot, so the airplane can now be filled up in virtually any environment. And everybody thinks that we have another, your father's S76, and we really don't. This airplane has got new rotor blades, new tail rotor, both of them de-iced by the end, I think it's of next year for de-icing. The active vibration control that we have on the S92, that new cockpit I talked about, that tremendous engine with better SFC. And so what we're positioning here is a tremendously capable, lower direct operating cost airplane at the exact same cost, gives some escalation, of course, of the C++. That's the value proposition. We're also cutting in for our oil customers, new fuel, better egress windows in the back, and new energy attenuating seats at ship 37. So the D's on the floor. We're very proud of the D. It's going to be a tremendously competitive helicopter in its class, and that'll be out in July. The light helicopters, like I said, we've transferred the type certificate from Schweitzer to Sikorsky. It is now the Sikorsky 300. It's in production in our Pennsylvania facility. We opened the order book, and I think we sold all but five helicopters for this year. So the demand is still there. It's now called the S300C. There will no longer be a CBI variant. This is the helicopter I trained in. A tremendously capable trainer. They use it for lots of tough missions, survivable in every sense. I think the best piston flying in the world right now. So we love our commercial business. It's doing very well. There's more coming. Stay tuned uh, to Sikorsky for more on our commercial business. 
Welcome to Airborne, the latest programming initiative from the Aero News Network. Hosted by Ashley Hale, Airborne is a visually stunning weekly high depth newscast featuring guest appearances and commentary from some of aviation's leading dignitaries, as well as ANN's own familiar faces. With aggressive reporting, extensive video, and a number of special aero features, Airborne offers truly engaging, fast-paced aero news content and analysis of lasting value to all of aviation. You know, I always have to put the technology view of the world last because I could talk about this forever. But those of you in here that have gone from engineering into journalism, and I know you live out there, but you know engineers. As we like to say, they like to chase all bright, shiny objects. And so what we've asked our engineers to do is to focus on three bright, shiny objects. Speed of the helicopter. We don't want an airplane that can hover. We want a helicopter that goes fast, right? The second is something we call actualization, where the helicopter has self-awareness and awareness of its environment and then can combine those two and react appropriately for the pilot. And the third is to allow our aircraft to fly whether they have pilots or not. And when, it, when projects are brought into our company, we say, which one of these bright, shiny objects are you chasing? And if they can't relate it, then we kick it out. Here's what's happening. Speed. Well-documented X2, call your win. United Technologies has an internal award called the Mead Medal given to the biggest technology advancement. Remember, we're up against Pratt, Whitney, Carrier, Otis, some big companies. We won the Mead Medal for the X2, and we're taking it a step further on our own money, building two of what we call the S-97 Raiders. What to look for this year is a Raider critical design review. We're in detailed design of the Raider. It'll fly in 2014. That's the speed thing you'll see in 2012. In actualization, not only have we deployed into Iraq technology that senses where rounds are coming from and alerts the pilot where to turn to get out of the way, this year we're going to start flying not just hub-mounted vibration testing, but testing on rotor blades which actually can morph themselves where an application could be punched to say, I want a rotor system for the next 20 minutes that's quiet, that's fast, that lifts, literally to have applications in the computer, and you'll see that in the second quarter, and a Blackhawk helicopter, a fly-by-wire Blackhawk, will do a complete resupply mission in our West Palm Beach facility in the second quarter, well actually they'll do two, one with a crew, same helicopter, one without a crew, full autonomy. We've actually, in our labs, auto-rotated a Blackhawk autonomously. So we're really pushing hard to differentiate this technology. And we talked about that Raider. This is going to be an amazing product. This was aimed at the Armed Aerial Scout RFP. This is about a 10,000 pound aircraft, coaxially mounted, pusher prop on the back. Pusher prop can be disengaged in the tactical setting and it'll still go 130 knots in any direction because of the coaxial mounted. We've taken the technology and the displays to the Pentagon. We're in testing right now. We've got the main rotor hub is in. We're testing the forgings. We're instrumenting rotor blades and making sure they don't break. We are committed and full speed ahead. Let me tell you something else we're learning. When money doesn't come to industry from our US government or any other government, and we put up the money and the time, we can do it in about a, in about a quarter of the cost in time. <laughs>